Does the market, does the stock market care what the Fed does the rest of the year? If they cut or if they don't cut, would that matter to the markets? Well, uh, sure it will to a certain degree, but uh, I think right now that the, uh, the the trade war is still the number one issue. That's the one that's, that's moved the markets the most this year, both up and down. Uh, so I think going forward, whether we can get any kind of a, a, a I don't think we get a, a major deal by any stretch of the imagination, but if we can get any kind of decent interim deal that, or not is going to be the key to the market for the rest of the year. Well, the president yesterday hinting, you know, maybe because there were some other headlines that he may have wanted to distract distract over, hinting, and the market went up, but it did not go up 500 or 600 points, Matt. It went up basically what it had lost the day before. So what do we actually need? Is it literally pen to paper on a deal, or is it, you know, a vision of Trump and President Xi sitting down together, hammering it out that would move the market significantly? I think you need a, a real deal. Again, I don't think it'll be a major one, but it's some sort of an interim one. Uh, and uh, But the reason why you need that is because the earnings situation just isn't very good. Uh, right now, even before, you know, we're starting to see, you know, we had earnings growth for the, uh, for the full year with the, with the fourth quarter uh, estimates into it is only an increase of 1.3 percent. And of course, we've seen a, a lot of downgrades to Federal Express and other big companies recently. So we're now, if we don't have a good earnings season, we could have negative earnings growth this year. So we definitely need something on, on, the, uh, on the trade side uh, to uh, take the market higher if it's going to go higher. Oil is basically at or below where it was before the attacks on that Saudi facility because simply put, the world is awash in oil and then everybody's extra dumping oil on the market after that attack as well. Energy stocks, they've fallen not only on oil but also on ESG, social investors. They're just they're dumping energy names because they just don't want them in their portfolio for many different reasons. Does that provide any kind of opportunity? And when the institutions may finally flush the names out, it sounds like maybe there's a bottom there, perhaps? I think there definitely is. Uh, you know, the group is, is incredibly under-owned and incredibly overhated right now. And the thing is, I believe those attacks uh, on the Saudi oil facilities uh, was, a, was a major turning point. People have kind of pushed it aside. I think that's a big mistake. This was not missiles uh, fired, uh, sophisticated. Well, they were sophisticated, but they were small. Uh, and uh, you know, these drones, this is something can, that can be repeated. And I believe that, uh, number one, I also noticed that President mm -hmm. uh, uh, Trump has not talked about it at all. I think he's going to strike Iran uh, because he said in the past, we're yep. not going to tell him where we're going to do it. So we got a situation here where oil prices could surprise people to the upside. That would be a great opportunity for the energy sector.